Sergeant First Class Kyra Dorn and Staff Sergeant Joseph Bennett from the U.S. Army Field Band are joined by Sergeant First Class Sean Reese, the Garrison EO Advisor at this year's Black History Month observance. More on that in a moment. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week we talk with some new arrivals to Fort Meade at the latest Tech Expo and the new installation guide is here. These stories and more, but first, the Post Housing Office announced this week that the deadline to respond to the annual Housing Tenant Satisfaction Survey has been extended until March 7th. The Army is trying to reach a worldwide response rate of 30 percent. As of this week, Fort Meade's response rate sits at 28.1 percent. In a related story, Corvius held a breakfast on the go event this week to express resident appreciation. They gave out more than 500 breakfast on the go bags throughout Post Housing. One other reminder from Corvius, since the survey deadline was extended, they're also extending their survey shamrock scavenger hunt. If you find one of these shamrocks in base housing, take a selfie, post it on the Mead Residence Facebook page, and you'll be entered in a raffle to win one of three gift cards. In other news, the new installation guide and phone book is out. In the coming days, you'll find them at various MWR and exchange facilities. If your unit would like a large number of guides or calendars, just stop by or give us a call at the Garrison Public Affairs Office. The new guide is also available online, courtesy of DCMilitary.com. There are links to the e-version on the Fort Meade homepage. Elsewhere, Club Meade recently hosted the biannual Tech Expo sponsored by the Army Intelligence and Security Command, or INSCOM. The expo brings industry specialists and military leaders together to see the latest innovations in technology. At the February Expo, we ran into one of those leaders, Colonel Kenneth Haynes. Colonel Haynes is the deputy commander of the 7th Signal Command Theater. The 7th is one of the most recent newcomers to Fort Meade. We talked to Haynes about the 7th move to Fort Meade and also about the Tech Expo. In 2020, the decision was made to relocate the Army Cyber Headquarters, uh, three-star headquarters, to Fort Gordon, Georgia, uh, where they can better synergize with National Security Agency Georgia. Uh, the 7th Signal Command uh, was then partially relocated here to the National Capital Region to take advantage of the locations with the, the program executive offices, uh, program management offices, uh, DISA, and Headquarters Department of the Army to synergize and coordinate efforts of our network modernization efforts and our future efforts across the Department of Defense. Haynes added that the 7th workforce is still expanding and they're looking for new employees. We started the movement uh, from Fort Gordon to here in June. Uh, we officially unfurled our flag in August here at Fort Meade. Uh, we're continuing to generate our, our capability here. We have several job openings for DA civilians starting at GS-12 on up uh, in that, that career field. And uh, military has continued to PCS here and uh, and is integrating part of the community of Fort Meade and we're very grateful for the garrison uh, welcoming the command and, and providing that great service to our soldiers. We'll have more with Colonel Haynes and the importance of staging these tech expos on the next Meade Week. Meanwhile, Club Meade also hosted this year's African American Black History Month observance. We opened the show with just a sample of some standout musical performances. The music got this year's guest speaker out of her seat in appreciation. The guest speaker was retired Chief Master Sergeant Helen Knoll she retired in 2009 and since then has been a motivational speaker educating people about PTSD. In her presentation, Noel talked about PTSD and this year's theme of black health and wellness. In 1619, and generations of blacks have been traumatized repeatedly for centuries. COVID-19 has caused a mental health crisis and we're all in need of healing. If trauma is your story, I implore you to seek counseling and or treatment. Thank you for your time and for allowing me to talk story. Talking is therapy for trauma victims. You can watch the entire observance on our Facebook page. Just click on videos. Finally, this week, a couple of reminders from MWR. First, youth sports is back and registration is underway. Spring sports include flag football, cheerleading, and soccer for kids 5 to 13. You can find out more at their website, me.armymwr.com. And speaking of spring, Outdoor Rec published an updated price list this week. You can rent everything from a camper to a set of horseshoes. Outdoor Rec is located at 2300 Wilson Street. That's building 2300. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.